Radio Craze. It's Ole Cool Ice Prince featuring Brian. Guess who we have in the studio? What's up? Boogie! I <laughs> <laughs> guess you know who that is. They call me Ice Prince Amani. Ice nice Prince Amani. You, you look so nice. You look oh, good. Thank you, know? thank you. I'm nice running low on sleep, but we move regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we turned 11. Did you bring gifts for us? Oh, man. <laughs> I, oh, man. Okay, I got you. I owe you. Let me just say that. Uh-huh. I owe you. Uh-huh. I promise. You said our national radio, so we're holding you to it. 100%. I owe you. All right. This is my first time meeting you. You look yeah. very fresh. I love the chain. I love the glasses. <laughs> I'm going to be taking on some, some. <laughs> Icy. They call me Icy Princey, not one chen guy. Ah, for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. How have you been? Where have you been? Everything nice, man. I've been good. I've been 100%. Obviously, the pandemic has kept everybody at home. So, mm-hmm. I've been home. Literally, I've been in my house, been in the studio. Um... Been on Earth, been on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been here. Uh huh. Yeah. But what have you been up to? Because I feel like we've been hearing your music. You've been dropping things here and there, but we haven't yeah. really seen Ice Prince in a while. I mean, if you want to see Ice Prince, you have to come to Ice Africa. You see, <laughs> that's where every everywhere I'm at, every every space that I occupy is called Ice Africa. Mm-hmm. So if you want to find me, you come to Ice Africa. But I mean, like, I understand your question. I understand what you're trying to say, but. I've really been around. Um, I haven't put out music in like a year now. The last mm-hmm. record I did was um, I Feel Good, you know, with Files and Crazy. Fino. Then I came with Mr. Easy on In Effects. But I couldn't release music for a while because in case you didn't know, in case you're just finding out, I got signed to an international whoop, record whoop. company. Booyay! Tell them, tell them I who am, it I is. Am, I am right now, I am signed to one of the biggest record labels in the world, and that's 300. Ooh, right? that's insane. That's that's home to Young, Young Thug. Thug. It's home to Megan Thee Stallion. It's home to Fetty Wap. And Ice Prince is on that list right now. So, And you know, we like, we like, there's deals in this contract. It takes time to put paperwork together. I can imagine. It takes time to put teams together. How it long has time. that been in the works? Like a year now. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's wow. why I put out music in like a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like there's no music to put out. There's a lot of music I can't wait for my fans to hear. But we just had to take our time to make sure the whole product was, you know, quality and perfect before we delivered. And the first single is here now. I know. I'm ready to dive into <laughs> it. We've been playing <laughs> yeah. it since. We're ready to dive into it properly. Thank you, man. 100. No problem. But let's talk about this record label, right? Yeah. So what kind of deal did you sign? Let's break it down. What exactly does it mean? Um, if I if I if I'm to break it down in the layman's term, that would be 300 is literally my chocolate, the chocolate city of my life now. If you know Ice Prince, I started off with chocolate city. We know exactly huge. So, um, that's the new chocolate city. Not to say chocolate city, chocolate city is out of my life. Like mm-hmm. chocolate city is forever my family, forever part of who I am. Aldo Mekori, the CEO, is one of the people that you know went through this whole contract. I'm talking about make sure everything was on point for me. So Chocolate City is always going to be my family, but it's just a, a bigger family now that's trying to put me on a world stage. And, you know, yeah, 300 is my new click, my new connect. How did that come about? Um, I guess the music is so dope. They just, found, they just like find you, call I'm you up and be like, dope, yo, I'm a guy. dope guy. <laughs> I mean, like, um, shout outs to Kevin Lyles, shout outs to Leo Cohen for even believing in my music or believing in African music and Nigerian music. And wanted to put us wanting to put us on that kind of stage but lot, lots of respect goes to my homegirl ricky davis um who i've been working with for like eight to ten years now wow She's been yeah a for me for a long time She's mm-hmm. been pr for a long time and she just called me out of the blue and said yo ice i have this very huge opportunity in front of me and i i believe and i trust you to be the perfect person to fit into this wow you know? and yeah so ricky made the connect happen we flew out to new york had the meetings, called the lawyers up, uh-huh. got everything together. And now I can tell you're still on that high. Huh? I can tell you're still on that high. You're still riding that wave. You're still like, Whoa. not necessarily. That's just this is just me, man. That's just how I am. <laughs> like, you just meeting me for the first time. To be honest, I should get to know me more. That's just this is just ice. All right. So how did you feel when you first got signed? When I, you mean the first time or this no, time? No, with three hundred. With three hundred, um, felt like a dream come true because, like I said, Kevin Lyles, who's the owner of the company, and Leo Cohen are people that i grew up you know watching and studying like these are mentors to me I these know. are the guys that started def jam you uh-huh. know what i mean like since i was a child i've always known these guys to be like icons and great you know what i'm saying so just to sit down in the same room and actually put a signature on paper smoke cigars together that's like more than a dream come true. yeah you're so, like is this my life yeah what? man 
Okay, so they house yeah. people like Young Thug, INW Melly, Meg the Stallion herself. Yeah. Yeah. So do we have any collaborations in the works? Man, I've been getting this question a lot. Yes, because we want but to you know. You know what my answer is? What? Whoever artists in the world does a collaboration with me, it's a favor for them, ah! not for me. Sorry. You need to know who Ice Prince is, okay? Sorry, yo. Ah! I like so, this energy. Like I said, I keep getting this question a lot. Are you going to get a song with Megan Thee Stallion and blah, blah, blah? It's not nah. a so, ah, Are you going to Guess level what? up with Guess her? Guess no. what? It doesn't matter, right? Like, I work with people from all over the world. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I have a very solid relationship with Major Lazer and mm-hmm, Diplo. Mm-hmm. And when I, when, if you got Ice Prince on your track, it's you are huge. lucky. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You're no, but it's for, it's for the culture because you guys are both rappers. Yeah, I mean, And like, it'll be a very interesting sound. Right now, I'll be honest with you, man. Right now, we're at a stage or at a place. Our Nigerian music or African music is at a place where if you're telling me about working with like a burner boy or a whiskey, yeah. that sounds more interesting. Yeah. I'm not really interested in working with foreign artists. Like, that's not the goal. Are you serious? That's not the goal. Do you know? Do you know not as a goal, but at all. No, I mean, going global is not by featuring somebody overseas. No, 100%. No, it's not. Like, African music is doing amazing stuff. I, I want know. to work with artists from South Africa, from Kenya, oh, from I'd Ghana. Love that. Yeah, that's the kind of collaborations that Ice likes. I'm not crazy about featuring. And I don't know why we Africans or we Nigerians think it's such a big deal. It's, it's really not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've I been in New York. I can walk into French Montana's house anytime. Doesn't mean that recording a song is going to change my whole life. No. It might do. It will do well for my career, for my music. Same as it will do for him. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. So, like, we need to start looking at ourselves and our music like that. I want to work with David O. I want to work with Wiz. I want to work with Tiwa. I want to work with Techno. I want to work with Pato Ranke. I want to work with Omar Lay. I want to work with... Megan is telling her wait. <laughs> I'm going to tell her you said that. Tell her, it's cool. I don't care. Tell her. <laughs> all, right, all right, before we move on to your song, because you have worked with Techno, we have a new single about yeah, to play. Yeah. Before we get to that, let's talk a bit more about 300 real quick. All right. So there was a little bit of drama earlier this year with Meg The Stallion, but it was really with 1501, her record label. But that was kind of like by association 300. Yeah. So I assume that your contract was working while that drama was coming out and playing out. Yeah, yeah. Did that make you feel some type of way? No, not at all, because first of all, we don't have the same deal. We don't have the same management my mm-hmm. management is all africans 300 is the label but my management is all africans okay dami is one of them you can see dami okay. akimumi he's nigerian fully. <laughs> you're a bad um, boy <laughs> Haja, um ricky i'm um, sorry nigel so nigel he's an Igbo boy from where he's also one of our managers ricky davis she's Ghanaian. she's also one of our managers uh-huh. and haja kobele haja is from the gambia right Gabon. yeah she's also like my management is all africans basically was that your choice these are people that I've been working with for years, like from, yeah. from for like 10 years now. You're like, I'm bringing my people on board. Yeah, the youngest pe- person on the team is actually him. That wow. Means, you know, it's been like three years of work now. It's not like we just met yesterday and yeah. we started working, you know. Yeah. We've been, we've been grinding for a while. I think that's the way to do it because sometimes it's a bit of fear about them taking advantage of our artists and our culture and our yeah. sound. Yeah. So you need to keep your people very, very 100%, close by. 100%. My Africans, my, my whole team, like I said, is all Africans. I all love it. day ones. No I love it. Not new people, they want yeah, the same repping. people who put out Ole Cool Superstar Aboki popping in my name. The same team, same squad. All right, so let's talk about your brand new single. This yeah. one, oh, you look so excited! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this man. one features techno, it's called Yo. Make Up Your Mind. Tell us about it. Yo, man, Make Up Your Mind. That's my brand new song. It just dropped last week. Amazing record, amazing feedback so far. Like, people are really, I'm feeling the love from my people I, I don't like to use the word fans anymore. yeah i want to say my people i feel the love it's amazing i linked up with techno and we made a smash you know like every time me and techno come together it's always amazing like from onyene ku his first mm-hmm. song when he did a remix of ole ku and i mm-hmm. put a rap on it and he featured me again on a song about nigeria and you know we did popping in my name I'm talking about the release stuff now. Yeah. Like when I, if I start to go into the unreleased stuff, me and Techno can comfortably put out a project right now. So why are you keeping it? We just gave you one right now. So where's the rest? When is it's it coming? coming. <laughs> We're not a group. It's coming. <laughs> all right, all right. Make sure good it comes take, out. Yeah, good things take time. But what I'm trying but. to say is that me and Techno, that's one of my closest friends in the in music industry, and he's just an amazing guy, all round dope guy. You know, all I right. love working with him. What's this song about? It's called Make Up Your Mind. 
Who is it's, it too? It's, it's encouraging every, it's for everybody, to <laughs> so everybody. Just encouraging you to always listen to that inner voice and just always make up your mind. You know, sometimes decisions are hard to make, but there's always a voice inside all of us that will tell you, hey, you know, you know what to do. You know what to do. So yeah. I'm using relationships. I'm using friendships. You know, to describe the story and tell the story. So yeah. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna let you introduce this. I want you to introduce this right now before I play it. Go. Yo, they call me Ice Prince Amani, J Town Ambassador, Last Giddy Hustler. My brand new music just dropped. Make up your mind, featuring Techno. It's right here on the beat, not and not. We out here. Booyah! Jake. Up. Hello, how are you? <laughs> one, two, one, two. Hello. <laughs> that is a jam. I love it. Yeah, thank you, man. Who produced this? It was produced by Stunner, Stunner Beats. Young producer coming up who's also, who's also like his part of a team with Killer Tunes. All right. Amazing producer, man. Amazing producer. Stunner. And the video was shot. The video is actually out. It's on YouTube right now. You can check it out. And the video was shot by T.G. Omari right here in Lagos. And yeah, man. Oh, really? So when's the video dropping? The video is out. That's what I'm telling you. The okay, video is okay, out. Okay. It's on YouTube right now. Just go on YouTube literally right now. Make up your mind. Ice Prince featuring Techno. It's, it's banging. You won't regret it. I promise. Okay. So what else can we expect from you going forward? Man, expect some fire. Expect some ice. You know, like, and that's the name of my next album, Fire and I love Ice. It. Yeah. Um, it's it's two sides to everything. Uh -huh. Basically, it's like a coin. It's two sides to every coin. Uh -huh. So it's fire. It's ice. It's it's calm. It's it's rage. It's peace. It's it's everything. It's love. It's hate. It's it's up. It's down. Uh -huh. It's fire and ice. Basically, that's what it is. And when listen, is that dropping? Do we have a date? I don't. I, I don't have a date yet. I can't mm -hmm. give you a date. Or I'd rather I don't want to give you a date. Well, why are you guys always doing this, man? Because you know how it is. Like fair I don't enough. want to tell you I'm gonna be at your house on the 17th and I don't pull up on the 17th. Fair gonna, enough. You know? Fair enough. So, but just know that it's something that is almost here and it's it's crazy fire. If you ever fell in love with Everybody Loves Ice Prince or Fire of Zamani or Just to the World, trust me, this album coming is my best album so far. And all right, I all right, we're looking forward amazing. to that. Yeah. And that's on the 300, right? Yeah. So cool. obviously you've had a fantastic 2020. Despite what happened, yours is still pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Is there anything that would have happened if not for coronavirus? Anything that would have happened? That was in your plans that you couldn't have happen, or did everything you know, just man, fall into place like, perfectly? Let me tell you what. This is the first time that I am I am in Lagos for this long. I've really? never. I've been living in Lagos for like 15 years now. Uh -huh. I've never actually been like in one place for like five months. Like I'm always on the road, week in, week out. We're always traveling. So if not for the virus, I'm sure we would have still been on the road. Before the virus, we had bookings from Zambia, from Malawi, from yeah. South Africa, from America. I was supposed to be in a lot of places. So if not for the lockdown, man, go hardly see me. This is what we Where have you been? Where have you been? Oh, well, you don't go see me at all. Oh, we don't see your backlights. <laughs> but have you liked that? Have you liked the fact that you can like chill out and just be more creative? Yeah, and man. Like, spend time with your own thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, funny enough, like I've spent more time with, I actually did spend more time with like my son oh, that's than nice. ever during this pandemic. Like, he even, like yeah. It's brought me closer to friends. Yeah. It's brought like the industry closer. Mm -hmm. These days I will see my artist friends more than I I've ever seen them, you know. So yeah, the pandemic kinda like it's ugly situation. I don't think there's anything nice about this pandemic, honestly. I yeah, don't think there's it's, anything it's been nice tough. about it. But regardless, there's always a positive side to everything. There's always an icy side to, to things, you know. And the icy side of this is that it's brought a lot of relationships closer. I like that. Speaking of, we all know that man cannot live by bread alone. <laughs> so, is there anybody interesting? But by every word that the Lord. Oh, spits. why do you have to go there? I'm <laughs> only taking the first part. <laughs> <laughs> is there anybody special in my life? Yes. Oh man, there's so many special women. No, no, I'm not doing any of that right now. <laughs> no, there's so many special people. You know, like me, I get plenty. Of, Are you serious? You have plenty of girlfriends. Something like that. What? <laughs> eh? Do they all call themselves girlfriends? Yeah. So they all come and hang your house like fella style. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but shout out to all the females, man. I love my female friends, you know, lovers, people who, like I said, I don't use that word fans anymore. I know, I know. But my female people that ap appreciate my music or appreciate me as a person. Yeah, there's a lot of women in my life and I love them equally, man. All right, we have some questions from your people on Twitter. Yeah. King Henry is saying, what's your plan lately? Because I see you signed 300 Entertainment. What's the deal like? 
the deal is a sweet deal that's, <laughs> that's the new record label that i'm signed to but yeah man like there's a lot coming through like i said the fires on the fire and ice album you should look forward to that yes i promise will. you good vibe all right we have tmz who says what's he working with techno be like what tell us your experience oh big vibe you know <laughs> techno is a big vibe first of all techno house techno get one of the finest house for any artist for are this you country. serious and in studio they so comfortable okay i should right? give us some cribs oh, let's man. see what's going on i don't know if you agree to do that because techno is a very private person yeah. as well. you know, he doesn't do too much like that but yeah. i'm sure like if he's your friend he will let you into his house you know and his studio is very very comfortable i like so fam him through you is what so you're saying i can introduce <laughs> you that's my guy <laughs> <yo>. <laughs> All right, techno baby. leaves la vida like techno leaves very accurately you know what i'm saying like he makes sure like the lights if it's a blue light on the side he has to be like really blue if it's a green like, he's he's very he's an interior decorator or designer himself so okay. he knows how to put things together yeah i can imagine so it's, it's quite beautiful yeah baby just wants to say that she loves you i love you too <laughs> baby and she like says well done bro i like your new song featuring techno i appreciate man god bless you man thanks Thanks Before I let you go, though, there is one song that is so close to my heart. It's Whiskey, dropped in 2013. And when it dropped, bruh, my friends were annoyed with me. Because <laughs> we were all revising for exams. And I would play it over and oh over and over and <laughs> over again. <laughs> what song is that? Whiskey. 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 Oh, I thought you said it's a whiskey song. No, it's whiskey. Your song. Whiskey, 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 carry go. Yeah, man. That's Yo, scary. that song was my jam. Yeah, I wrote that from from deep inside. Yeah, it's a, heart. it's a very strong song. Where were you when we wrote it? I was in here in Lagos, in Nigeria, in my studio, Ice Fricker, and <laughs> it was produced by <laughs> produced by Sami Gang. The video was shot by Aja Films. I just wanted to write a story that was different, you know. It's all fiction. It's nothing real in that story. It's not. There's no biology that actually died, or there's no yeah. Elizabeth that I whatever. mean, it's something that we can all kind of relate to because there's a exactly. part of the story that we know somebody, or we, exactly. we kind of felt something ourselves. Exactly. That's where the mindset of that song came from. I just wanted to write a story that anybody could relate to, and yeah, that's how whiskey came about. All right, I love it. So let's take it back to Chocolate City. Ha, my family. CC. <laughs> Chalk boy for life. You already know. So where are you guys now? What's going on with that? Um, I mean, shout out to Chocolate City, man. Still one of the longest, strongest standing record labels that we have, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. You know, it's not easy to run a record label. In fact, at some point, like, if it looked like label business was dying out because yeah. a lot of artists were going independent artists were signing artists so but chocolate city has stood their ground still here still doing it you know have put so many people on have employed so many people have put food on so many people's tables have taken so many artists off the streets and you know put them on on the limelight so big up chocolate city man like that's my family forever forever and ever and ever you know like i said to you i'll do make Corey, the ceo is very much aware of my 300 situation he yeah. was one of the people who went through the contracts made sure like everything was on point every time i'm in new york i make sure i see audi before anybody else I love it. so yeah chocolate city that's family for forever and ever and ever man like yeah we still hold it down like that I i'm love boy it. for love life it. love it love it all right any final words to your family i just i just want to say thank you man thank you for being there thank you for your thoughts and your prayers even though we don't see you all the time, I know I'm not out of your mind. I know that you still got me. So, yeah, man. Booyah! Your boy Ice Prince Amani say booyah one more time. <laughs> all right, thank you so much for stopping by. It's been fun. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thanks. I'm going to close out with this one from last year. You have a very beautiful smile. Thank you. If you go for Big Brother, I'll vote you times one <laughs> billion times. <laughs> Would you do Go Fund Me for me? <laughs> <laughs> The Beat 99.9 .9 FM. What your radio craves.